Keenan's Customs 99 Dodge Dakota project. Um, performance injection equipment. Edison has the fuel pump. It's got its little float right here. It's all electrical. I'm waiting. That goes down in the gas tank. We got uh, plenty of braided wires. Still, is, uh, uh, we still need the fuel rails. Everything is custom made for it. And, uh, the actual pump bounce, most, bounce, uh, bolts on the frame and everything. As you can see, it's going to be kind of round like this. That's the fuel pump. Right there, you see. It's got like a earth, I mean, like a little, kind of like a toilet. You run the hose. So you're mounting it up there to these custom made fuel rails, performance injection equipment. Chris Hutchins up there. Great guy. Uh, took the slide links, got a machine. Got these pressed up in there. They're pretty much ready to go. Make sure the shot pressed them right. Yeah, put some anti seize in them. Uh, I'm gonna paint these too. I'm gonna paint these brackets. We had to get them machined a little bit. Put the bolts. Let's see. Yeah, he's got it in that one. That one's here. Yeah, we did good. It's right down here. Yeah. Which is gonna bolt right up in there. Let me find it. Right up in there. This has got a three inch lowering kit. The frame is seated. Not three inch, I don't know. It's, it's got a bad lowering kit. There and the sidewinders get us the brakes. Oh, conversion kit. Then rainy weather. And uh, uh sank. Spent a day getting they get this sucker out of the mud, it was sank. Down there at the four-wheeler track. I want to give a shout out to Dwayne Mitchell, Nick Dowdy, Dwayne's cousin. Everybody helped get it out. Bronco with a winch, and then supercharged Tacoma going downhill, pulling it. And thank God things got a center force clutch and everything. Personally, I like automatics better when you're pulling somebody out, but so you don't just put it in granny gear and go. That Tacoma's so light on the rear end, it's all fiberglass ball fenders and everything in it. Ain't got any fender wells. It's got a, like a ram air we made for it. You got to kind of cover it up with a sleeve underneath the tire, so you don't want to get it real muddy. It's just made for sand and stuff. But, uh, it's nice looking. Got in today, we're working on that this weekend. All these bolts. Getting it. Uh, slowly getting everything in. Appreciate everybody's support and help. Huge engines. Oh, uh, and the reason we didn't go with, uh, P-Series or W-Series heads, P-Series heads was crashed with trucks, runs, and everything. And um, we kind of picked the heads first. Kind of started off with the heads, Kevin up there at Hughes did. And ended up, we kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But they're flowing. He's got more out of them RT heads than he has any other pair. 750 horsepower flow. And the problem with W and P-Series heads is finding the uh, rollers and springs and all that stuff. I think TND or uh, sells them or some other place. Uh, 
Starts with a Judd Jessel. They're expensive. But uh it's getting enough out of it. Pro Charger, Supercharger, I get even more. <laughs> I had to take the fajita off here. It didn't fit right, as you probably saw. Kind of disappointment. Uh, Ready to go. Oh, well, it's Travis, Gaines Customs. And that's a wrap for today.